the biggest thing that never has been brought up about Phil, and this is what bothers me about every damn body in the NBA. They don't bring this up enough. When you are an executive with name cachet, your ability to go out and recruit talent to come play for you is paramount. The fact that you got more keys, whether it's a LeBron, whether it's a Kevin Durant, you're an 11-time champion who delivered titles to MJ and Kobe. You can't get them to sit down with, for dinner with you? To have a conversation? They wouldn't even meet with Phil to have a conversation. It was mellow out front and center talking to Kevin Durant, trying to recruit Kevin Durant to come to New York City. Phil was nowhere to be found, and it ain't because of his bad hips. It's because the man is lazy. It's because the man don't give a damn. He never wanted the job, and that is that. And so when you look at it from that perspective, here's my point. We bring out this name. I'll tell you an executive who hasn't been mentioned by anybody. How about Joe Dumars? A guy that took the, the Pistons to six consecutive Eastern Conference Finals appearances? A guy that sat up there and won an NBA championship and went to two NBA Finals? That dude. Now, granted, he's vilified because he drafted Darko Milicic instead of Melo or Bosch or D-Way, but he did have Tayshaun Prince. They had just won a title, and, or, or they were en route to a title, rather. And as a result, it was like, yo, I paid Tayshaun this money. I still would have taken one of the three. It damn sure wouldn't have taken, I wouldn't have taken Darko Milicic. But at the same time... After when, the Frederick Vice debacle when in you New could, York. When, I mean, you could, when you consider this man's resume, you're talking about a guy that's proven as an executive. We never hear that name. But Phil Jackson, who never picked up a damn phone to make a deal because he was busy coaching, by the way, all of a sudden commands 10 to 12 million a year. He's been asleep at the wheel. He's been asleep at the job. And one of the great things is that I heard New Yorkers finally coming to their damn senses and booing this man the other night because he deserves it.